What's up guys welcome to the help tutorials on real time feeder software that is the RTF presented by the tradermate.in and in this video we're going to show you how we can do the real time settings in RTF and we're going to show you how we can get the real time data from your trading terminal to the ME broker by using the excel and our RTF software. So here first what you need to do is you need to open up your trading terminal and you need to log into your account and you need to create a whitelist and to that whitelist you need to add the symbols that you want to track. Here for the demonstration purpose I have created a whitelist in my trading terminal and I have added around 20 symbols and once you create the whitelist you need to make sure that you have the columns which contain the symbol name, latest price, latest time and latest quantity in your whitelist. If your whitelist contains other columns along with the columns that I have mentioned then it's gonna be perfectly fine. But if you don't have the columns that I have mentioned here then you need to add that columns to your whitelist and uh, these four columns are must. I'll say once again you need to have the column which contains the symbol name here you guys can see in my whitelist I have the uh, column symbol which contains the symbol name and uh, I have the column which contains the latest price latest time and latest quantity all right once you create the whitelist in your trading terminal next you need to export that whitelist or copy that whitelist to the excel so i have exported or you know copied my whitelist to the excel here here one important thing to consider is when you export or copy your whitelist to the excel from your trading terminal you need to make sure that the excel sheet name should be sheet 1 which is nothing but when you copy the whitelist from your trading terminal to the excel sheet you need to make sure that that whitelist should be present in the sheet which contains the name sheet 1. Some trading terminals will rename the sheet when you export the whitelist but if your trading terminal renames to some other name for example now then you need to rename that sheet again to sheet 1. So now you guys can see in sheet 1 in excel I have the whitelist which I have created in my trading terminal and you guys can see the data streaming here and you guys can see I have the columns which contains the symbol name and then latest price, latest time and latest quantity. If you have any other columns along with these columns that I have mentioned it is perfectly fine. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to go to the column which contains the latest time and you need to make sure that the latest time is in our minute and second format. And here you guys can see in my excel sheet the latest time is not in our minute and second format. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna format this column. So I'm gonna right click here in the column header which contains the latest time which is D here in my case and then I'm gonna go to format cells and here in the category tab I'm gonna select time and I'm gonna select 13 30 55 here we have the time in our minute and second format and and also it is in 24 hour format so I'm gonna select 13 30 55 and I'm gonna click OK. Now you guys can see here in the column D which contains the latest time the time is formatted in our minute and second format. So when you export or you know copy your whitelist to the Excel at that time if the latest time is in this format which is our minute and second format then you don't need to do this setting. Alright now uh, here I'm gonna say again two important things you need to notice one is the exported or you know copied whitelist from the trading terminal should be present in sheet 1. If it is not in sheet 1 then you need to rename that one to sheet 1 and also you need to make sure that you have the symbol name, latest price, latest time and latest quantity columns and also you need to format the time in our minute and second format.
so once you do that you're gonna be fine and you can open up our rtf software so i'm gonna open up the rtf that is the real-time feeder software which we have created and here you guys can see i'm using the professional version and i'm gonna click on ok and uh, it's gonna launch the window and here you guys can see we have the real-time feeder and here to do the real-time update for the first time you need to click on settings and it will open up the settings window and here the important thing is now in this settings window you know when you open up it will be in the um, uh, iod tab by default you need to go to the real time tab and here in this real time tab you need to specify the columns in excel which contains the symbol name latest time latest price and latest quantity now if i look at this excel sheet then the symbol names are at the column a so here for the symbols i'm gonna select column a and then for time if i look at this excel sheet then the latest time is in column d so for time i'm gonna select d and then for latest price uh, in excel i have the latest price in column c so i'm gonna select column c and for latest quantity i'm gonna select column e because in excel sheet the latest quantity is in the column with the header e so i'm gonna select e here and then after specifying the columns here you guys can see we have a checkbox which says get backfill data to now if you click on this or you know if if you select this checkbox then what's going to happen is when you do the real time update at that time our real time feeder software is going to get the backfill data in one minute interval for the symbols which are in this symbols column and update that to the ami broker and then will update the real time data now if you don't select this checkbox then our rtf software will not get the backfill data for the symbols specified in this symbols column and uh, will not update the backfill data and will straight away update the real-time data all right now for example if you are running our software at the start of the market for example uh, you know nsc market is going to start at 9 15 and if you're doing the real-time update using our software at 9 15 then you don't need this backfill data if you are opening our software for example at 11 29 you know right now you guys can see the time is 11 29 and now if i have to do the trading then i need the backfill data so i'm gonna select this uh, checkbox so if you want the backfill then you need to select this and if you don't want the backfill data then you just need to unselect this uh, checkbox all right once you do these settings just click on save and after that what you need to do is you need to open up the ami broker so i'm gonna open up the ami broker here and uh, in ami broker for the first time you need to create a database and you need to apply the settings that i have mentioned in a particular video if you have watched the tutorial and you have done the settings that i have mentioned then you don't need to do anything here if you haven't watched the tutorial and haven't done any settings to the ami broker database then you need to watch the tutorial and apply the settings to the ami broker database and then you can continue here all right now i believe that you know you guys have done the settings to the ami broker database now you guys can click on this start real-time update so i'm gonna click here start real-time update and first it will get the backfill data for the symbols which are in the symbol column of the excel sheet and it will update that uh, data to the uh, ami broker once it is done with the backfill data you know it will straight away go for the real-time data now you guys can see our real-time feeder software has done the uh, backfill data and now it is doing the um, real-time data update so here we're gonna select the symbol acc and uh, now you guys can see we are we are in the time interval one tick you guys can see the tick data has been updating now uh, we're gonna go for the uh, one minute 
and you guys can see I'm just gonna zoom around here and now you guys can see the uh, real-time data has been updating and we're gonna go for some other symbols Adani ports and now you guys can see the real-time data is updating and we are in the one minute interval as you guys can see the change in the data all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop this real-time update and I have showed you how you can do the real-time data update using the real-time feeder all right now the one last thing that I want to show you is you know um, what you can do is you can save this excel sheet you know I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save it in my desktop uh, you guys can give any name so I'm gonna say uh, RTF real-time and I'm gonna save this sheet and I'm gonna close um, Excel now and now what you can do is you can reopen this Excel sheet and now you guys can see it is not updating the real-time data but you guys can see here it says automatic update of links has been disabled all you need to do is click on the options and enable this content and you know it will start updating the real-time data for the same watch list and uh, then what you can do is you can use our software and then update this data to the ami broker so this is it guys this is about the real-time settings that you need to do in rtf and this is how you guys can get the real-time data from your trading terminal to the ami broker by using the excel and real-time feeder so thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial